Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel once again here. This is Mac. So, for this whole uh, gameplay commentary video here I'm making, it is the last video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the campaign remastered version. This is the last one. This is it. We're hitting this off. We are literally going guns blazing we're hitting everything off we're gonna finish this hard and as you know John Price is struggling to get Shepard down you the player as John McTavish you're gonna be nailing Shepard and finishing it finishing him off from there so the last one is gonna be That's right. End game. And what does that entail? Simple. The most blunt way I can pretty much describe this mission is, as you can see at the bottom part right there, which says, Kill General Shepard. So, you're going to be on a boat, speeding your way through this vast amount of water, going to try and nail him, you get into a bit of a wipeout type of an accident and through a harsh type of struggle well like I mentioned before Shepard almost wax McTavish soap at the equation you as the player Price gets in the way and just try and wrestles him down but unfortunately Shepard just keeps on feeding Price the shots with his fists, by the way. And towards the end of the whole type of damn struggle, you fling the damn combat knife at Shepard, and boom. Not to, pull a, not to pull a bit of a cheesy pun, per se, but you do get him nailed. All right. Let's go on ahead and finish this off. This is for the record. History is written by the victor. History is filled with liars. If he lives and we die, his truth becomes written and ours is lost. Shepard will be a hero because all you need to change the world is one good lie and a river of blood. He's about to complete the greatest trick a liar ever played on history. His truth will be the truth, but only if he lives and we die. Just around the corner, come on! So, get on the boat! Here goes nothing.
people get killed in the process. Almost there, almost there. Damn it, the hell. <laughs> okay, everyone, this is the finisher. Although, although McTavish is acting like, like crazy, but this is the finisher. men in the blink of an eye and the world just fucking watched tomorrow there will be no shortage of volunteers no shortage of patriots I know you understand <laughs> Here's the finisher. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Yeah, I know it hurts like hell, but you can do it. Come on. 
He's nailed, he's done. So... It'll hold for now. Come on, get up. I thought I told you this was a one-way trip. Looks like it still is. They'll be looking for us, you know. Nikolai, we've got to get soap out of here. Duh. I know a place. All right, and there you have it. Nice little shot of the group here. I don't see Shepard in there. Must be a good thing. Task Force 141. Doom on you. Mr. Tango. And this will be the same type of uh, Task Force 1 for 1 that Price puts together into that whole Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the 2019 version. All right, there you are. So, you know, something I'm also just go ahead and just finish it off from here. So all the same everyone, I do appreciate and thank you very kindly for once again for tuning on to, into my channel here. This is Mac, and thank you very much for just tuning on in, just to, you know, enjoying the con of this whole type of uh, intense type of typical, very common type of uh, intensified gunfight and the whole Call of Duty. Of course, that's, well, that's just why it's called Call of Duty. You pick, you pick up various types of guns, go into the battlefield, and shoot everyone up. So I hope everyone did enjoy all this. I do have other type of gameplay, gameplay type of commentary videos coming up, and other types of uh, gameplay plans that I'm going to be putting into place. Because according to uh, what I have read about this part here, is that uh, since the game had came out originally for the PS3 in 2009, I believe in 2009. So I believe one moment here. So that would mean that, according to the whole fictionalized type of little story timeline here, since this particular type of fictionalized story setting of the Modern Warfare 2 took place in 2016, considering this game out this came this game came out in 2009, that mean that that would have meant that this type of gameplay uh, setting took place about seven years prior like or seven years into the future since now it's 2020 not exactly a really great year mind you unfortunately but since it is the year 2020 and this game setting was in 2016 once again this happened four years ago and there's other ones that 
other types of gameplay, like not, uh, sorry, other other types of Call of Duty games that take place into the future, same idea. You gear up with we various types of weapons and go on and at it. Although some type of uh, Call of Duty games, they don't have phasers or blasters or anything like that, like phasers from Star Trek or blasters from Star Wars. Still, this like the same type of weaponry, like you know, various types of guns that still shoot out weapon uh, bullets. Maybe a little bit of a blaster fire here and there, but I think that's about it. So again, that's just giving out a little bit of detail from there. So once again, everyone, that was this that was the whole Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the campaign remastered version. So all the same, you can if you can give off that nice type of support by hitting that whole uh, subscribe button, the notification button, and the like button. And if you have any comments or questions in relation to this, as always, just go ahead and throw it down into the commentary into the, into the comment section. So once again, a great awesome thanks to all of you for tuning on into this and having a nice little time while watching these type of gameplay type of action and. Be able to see you on the next round on to the next type of uh, game that I'm going to be trying out and come kind of moving forward from there. Until then, everyone, until then, everyone, peace out, stickle, God bless, and see you on the next round.